Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Cog Video X. So, Cog Video X is a video generation AI developed by Jipu AI. Let me first open the, you know, uh, their Hugging Face repository so you can have a look. Now, if I go here, Cog Video X2B. So they have released two different models. You know, Cog Video X2B and cog video x5b so there are two different models that has been created you know uh, by thudm you know if you right click open this knowledge engineering group and data mining at tinhua university or something you know i don't know how they pronounce it or sing sinhua university probably yeah so this is a model that we're gonna look at cog video cog video x5b cog video x2b now i have you know downloaded this already this here cog video x now if you look at the differentiation between both the models so the first is inference precision which is available in fp16 which is recommended and for 5v bf16 is recommended so floating point 16 you know and of course int4 not supported you can see it over here in for not supported in this case as well single gpu if you have a single gpu this is how this is this is how much it will require you know 12.5 gb if you are doing f 16 diffusers and so on and so forth inference speed on a100 it takes around like 90 seconds on h100 it takes around 45 seconds you know for 5v model it takes around like three minutes but here it will take a minute and a half you know to generate on 50, for 50 steps and then memory consumption like how much memory it will consume and so on and so forth uh 2b model has an apache 2.0 so you can take the model and make money out of it to be honest now you can you can use it for commercial purpose so you can build an uh SaaS on top of it you can build an api service on top of it and you can sell it to other people so they can use it video length up to six seconds and resolution up to 720 into 480 so that's what you know high level uh information that that we have for cog video x now how can we use this video generation ai that has been developed so the first thing is that we're gonna you know of course git clone this repository so let me just git clone this of course i'm cloning it from the github repository as you can see it over here and then we'll just go cd inside it you can see it has been cloned here it's it's like in the process of being cloned and then i'm gonna have i'm gonna go cd inside it so you can just do cd and then cog and then cog video whatever it is the folder name and if you want to check out you can see we are inside cog video now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to install so let me just do pip install hyphen r requirements requirements txt and i think i have misspelled this okay now meanwhile it's doing that let's have a look what's inside this so this is the requirements txt you need diffusers transformers greater than this version we have accelerate sentence piece uh, numpy torch gradio stimulate image io blah 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 okay so you can also use their gradio application if you go inside inference they have given you a lot of files so one is gradio web app that you can also use you can also use streamlit web demo you know you can also use cli probably we can try it out with cli you know to see if it's if it generates something so if you look at cli demo.py let's open that it says this script demonstrates how to generate a video from a text prompt so this is mainly a video generation guys i have created a lot of videos on how to generate videos using uh, you know text prompt there are a lot of other models that we have available on hugging face like demo v lab and a lot of other videos even stable diffusion lately had stable video diffusion that you can use and a lot of other models check that check that playlist out i'll give the link in description now here you can see a number of inference a uh, number of videos per prompt uh, some arguments you know using the pre-trained loading loading the model using cog video x pipeline they have a scheduler here you can see enable model cpu offload if you look at here turn off if you have multiple gpu so for example if you are you can also use deep speed with this you know or you can also use accelerate deep speed combined to do that on a multiple gpus as well and then we have a pipe that creates the that initiates all the inference params that you need you know to generate the video 
and pretty much everything goes within the argument over here so you can look at that now this is what we're gonna run okay now if you want to know more you have to go into let me uh you, you look at this from diffusers input cog pdox pipeline and all of these high level classes that you see it over here that the module that has been imported but yeah you can you can have a look so we have a lot of things here okay let me look at you can see video that has been already created and if you if you go to inference you can also run the gradio application if you look at this this is the gradio app that you have over here you know, it will open a gradio application and you can use that as well yeah and they also have a streamlit app so you can also use streamlit demo dot launch make sure we're doing share equals to true to open that in a new tab let's go back here i think we are good with the installation thingy and once you install let's try it try it out with a cli so i'm going to have python and you can see it's within inference and under that folder so i'm going to have cli demo dot pi and hyphen hyphen prompt and i'm going to write something like uh let's try it out what would we use uh a boy is eating burger on why is he eating burger inside a plane inside an airplane or something like that let's try it out with this and the thing is guys you can also you know like you can also bring up better prompts uh, you know you can because when you work with these you can you can bring up you know like better prompts so what you can do is you can give a comma and you can also write you know like uh, uh, mm, glowing light or something you know and high quality blah 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 etc just just you know and understand you can bring up other prompts as well and then you give the model path so let's give uh, the model underscore path and then the model underscore path belongs to the hugging face repository that we have so if you come here this is the hugging face repository so let's come here go back and then just write it over there now let's run this and it will first time it's going to take a lot of time but from next time onward it will not take time uh, like it will take around 60 to 90 seconds to create a video so let's let's first run this and see what happens as you can see the model has been downloaded so it will take a time so let's let's wait for it and then we come back all right so guys you can see the model has been completely you know downloaded in the cache loaded you can see loading checkpoint starts the model has been loaded in the gpu memory and now uh, you know for the 50 steps you can see 20 steps have been completed now so we have to wait for a few more seconds and then you will find out the generated video let's go back to cog video the root folder here you know for this this cloned repository we're going to try out different prompts guys you know like i'm not a good prompt engineer prompt engineer when it comes to generating media like images and videos probably images but yeah video you know like prompt is an art you know so there are a lot of good prompters uh, out there and if you are someone who is great with prompt engineering then you can of course get the best out of these models okay you can see it's 78 percent i want to show everything like live i don't want to edit the video so you, you know what's happening so let's wait for a few more seconds You can see it says 100%, 50 out of 50. And if you go up, let me just go up here. You can see all the models that has been, like you know, it was like getting all the models, weights, everything from Hugging Face. So you go up, and you can find it out. Let's go on top first, and then we'll see the output. Yeah. So from where, from here, it started. So if you look at this thing what happens so here it's got the tokenizer config and everything that you know that you need to uh, basically you know try it out now okay 
now you can see the output.mp4 here in the left hand side let me okay first come down here guys so you can see it and let's open this thingy here or oh, let me download this guy okay let me download this you can see it's downloaded I can see this guy is eating some burger, you know, a glowing light. Okay, uh, we'll try something. Main, mainly when it comes to, you know, bringing of human elements into this media generation, they are not that, probably not that good like with, you know, like Runway Gen 3 and, you know, other models that we have for video generation. So that's something that, you know, we can. Okay, let me go a bit up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this thing here. So I'm going to say, uh, let's try it out with some other prompt so something maybe a lively a lively city at night i'm um, gonna write different color schemes or something like that uh environmental depth uh yeah something like this let's run this and see what happens now okay so now when run it this time guys okay of course it's not going to download the model but it's going to load the model again in memory you can see the model has been loaded and then it will perform your 50 steps you can see zero out of 50 and and then it basically generates that particular video that for the prompt that you have given so this is your prompt you know a live lively city at night different color schemes and environmental depth okay i think it will take 50 seconds over here and if you want to use uh if you want to use a a 5b model okay now 5b model can be uh, let me just go here okay yes if you come here uh, uh okay five minutes yeah here it is now if you want to use this cog video x5p you can use that now you can see all the, all the better prompts you can probably try it out one of these prompts here the, and you can see how lengthy these prompts are this is fantastic you can see a golden retriever and what this guy is doing let me have a look yeah you need these kind of prompts guys but these are for five and probably we're using 2b model right so 2b model will uh, definitely will not be that good but you can see the output from the 5b models if you play this here see how cool is that let me play this i mean this clarity and depth is fantastic for this video i really loved it okay uh, and maybe you can try it out this prompt okay but not for 2b but for 5b and you can see this 100 percent has been completed for a lively city at night different color schemes environmental depth and now if i if i just download this and hopefully it overrides it yeah you can see okay it's it gets it it gets it but of course the clarity is not that good but you know in 5b definitely one last thing what i'm gonna try is i'm gonna try this and try this and let me stop the it will stop the video and come back once this is done all right guys as you can see for this prompt also we got the video uh, mp4 let's download this and let's have a look Yeah, you can see this is a 2b and you can see it's it's close but not that good so my recommendation will be that you try it out with 5b probably we can also try it out you know but you got the idea because i'm already on a100 that should work on a100 as well i don't i don't think that there should be a problem because i am on run pod i can just edit this uh, pod gets a bit more volume and then i'll be able to run it but yeah it will take more time you know like it will take around two three minutes to get the video for like a 5p as you can see it over here three minutes on a hundred for 5b model so yeah you can try it out as if you have the infra and let me know your feedbacks and thoughts in the comment box if you have any questions you can reach out to me through my social media channels if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos thank you so much for watching see you in the next one